Brooklyn Independent Television. Part of being a good steward of the earth is doing the best we can with what we have. We're going to Dumbo now, where groups are trying to figure out how to recycle, reduce, or reuse some distinctive pavers. What you are seeing may look like the all too familiar cobblestones, but they are actually called Belgian blocks, and they have been the foundation of Dumbo since the mid 1800s. And it's advocates like Alexandria Sika who know the difference. As executive director of the Dumbo Improvement District, she is very familiar with these old stones. Actually, they're uh, fondly referred to around here as Belgian blocks. That's a historical name for uh, this quite unique block that we love and uh, really give the historic charm uh, and beauty to this neighborhood um, that, you know, it deserves. It's an epic space. Uh, and these Belgian blocks have been here for hundreds of years. Uh, and we've been working hard for the last uh, decade to get them to be restored in the neighborhood. The proof is in the pudding. For a while, uh, they didn't see the, what the finished product would look like. Um, and now the community response has really been outstanding as to the, um, you know, the finished product of what these blocks are looking like. Um, you know, I think that the, the city has been working with the biking community to come up with some solutions for um, biking in the neighborhood that we think um, is working well. Andrew, who makes his living as a professional bike messenger, has a very different point of view. So what you see is a pitfall here, just with loose cobblestones in it. I thought you know, I wasn't going very fast at all. I thought I could make it but I completely misjudged it and my tire actually got caught between two of the loose cobblestones and the bike actually I think stood right up on end and just dumped me in the middle of the street and those cobblestones hurt. I got a raised bump on my left arm. My left ankle is uh, a little bruised up. These cobblestones are no joke out here on a bike especially. It does have its advantages using the bike lanes but for the most part I definitely think that it could have been a lot better planned out and people could do a lot better to teach pedestrians and drivers and truckers and bikers and everybody to learn how to work together to share the road. Tell us a little bit more about what we can expect in the future. Uh, I, in the future, you're going to expect uh, less broken streets, more Belgian block, uh, and a, a grand actual uh, plaza space. Right now, we were one of the first um, uh, temporary plazas that DOT put in over at Pearl, uh, the Pearl Street Triangle. So with the next round of construction, we're actually going to, you know, build a permanent plaza. We're very excited about that. And the streets surrounding it will be um, historically restored and it's going to be fantastic. Yeah, there are um, Belgian blocks throughout the waterfront districts of Brooklyn. Um, there are Belgian blocks in uh, Vinegar Hill up to our east. Uh, and there are Belgian blocks in Red Hook, um, you know, Dumbo, Dumbo's development has been on such an accelerated course over the last couple of years um, that it makes a lot of sense for the city to really invest resources right here. So we're, we're thrilled that we're on the list. The neighborhood between two bridges appears to be building a third, one that connects the past with the future. For now, it looks like these old blocks are here to stay. For Brooklyn Review, this is Clive E.J. Sandler. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.